Hello, my name is Katrina Myers and I'm doing a video presentation on R.D. Lang. R.D. Lang wrote quite a bit on mental illness and the experience of psychosis. He's well known for how he viewed the causes and treatment of mental illness, which went against the psychiatric ways of the day and doing things at the time. R.D. Lang was born in 1927 and was a British psychoanalyst, a radical, an experiential philosopher. He spent several years as a, psychiatri as a psychiatrist in the British Army and had a talent for communicating with the mental ill. In 1965, Lang started a psychiatric project called at Kingsley Hall where patients and therapists lived together. Lang suffered from episodic alcoholism and clinical depression and had trouble dealing with these issues. Lang's belief was when people were undergoing a psychotic episode, the strange behavior and the confusing talk and confusing speech was understandable. He stressed that family and their role of the development of madness went hand in hand. He believed that people can be put in impossible situations when they are, aren't are able to live up to other people's expectations or their peers, which leads them to lose control of the situation and cause mental distress. Lang believed madness could be more like a journey. The traveler could return from their journey with important insights and important ideas, important thoughts, and as a result could be viewed as smarter as a result of their journey. Lang was involved in research that linked the development of psychosis to family background. For example, he believed that if your children had schizophrenia, it was the parents' fault and it was linked by the parents. Lang never denied the value of treating mental disorders. He just wanted people to think of mental disorders as a biological phenomenon. One of his first books he wrote was The Divided Self, A Study of Sanity and Madness. In it, he wrote about how schizophrenia was an adaptive reaction to what he believed was a loss of self. He raised many objections to the standards and treatments of the time and argued for a more humane approach to mental illness. In 1964, he founded the Philadelphia Association, which was a charity offering schizophrenics a more compassionate form of therapy. In 1970, he met Timothy Leary, who is best known for the acid trip or the LXD experience. Lang was arrested for, in 1977, for possession of hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic drugs. Oops. In 1989, Lang died of a heart attack while playing tennis. He was considered a great example of behavior and the range of his mind was exhilarating. Basically, he wanted people with mental illness to be viewed as their thoughts are okay, their speech is okay. Okay, so we don't understand it, the normal person. But let's look into it and see what they're really thinking, what, what's really going on, and is there something important that we're missing in the mental ill. The references used in this presentation were, the first one was from the Psychologist Anywhere, Anytime website, and R.D. Lang biography from Answers.com. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation, and thank you.